For the next 30 days, I'm going to try intermittent fasting as a way to lose weight. I'm not going to change my diet, just when I eat said diet. And most of you already know the health benefits or alleged health benefits, but if not, let me speed run this. Regulated insulin, maybe live longer, can increase fat burn, can improve cardiovascular health, maybe lower the risk of cancer, help body repair itself, make brain better, more tolerant of stress, reduce acne, and increase willpower. So as you can see by... <laughs> What's that doing there? <laughs> okay, so as you can see by this chart right here, if I can take cold showers daily, and I do intermittent fasting, and I do Flintstone vitamins, I can become the ultimate self-development YouTuber that no one will be able to stop. Today is day one of fasting. I started the fasting timer uh, a couple hours ago. So I actually already do an unintentional intermittent fast. I haven't eaten breakfast since I was in high school, which was over 10 years ago. So this video would basically just be my normal life if I chose to do a 16 by eight intermittent fast. And with my goal being by the end of the month to have dropped an additional eight pounds, which will put me at 174.8 pounds, which is only 10 pounds away from my goal of 165 for the year. I have to go for a 20 by four split, which is 20 hours of fasting and four hours of eating. So Carly, what did I have for lunch? Nothing. What did you have for lunch? Salmon and salad. If I want to eat lunch with my family, I don't get to eat dinner with them. And if I want to eat dinner with them, I don't get to eat lunch with them. Because I still have two hours and 36 minutes left until I can eat food. I just ended the fast 35 seconds ago. So day one is done. I got food heating up in the microwave now. That was tough. I'm not going to lie. That was really tough. My willpower is a lot lower than I thought it would be. Today was my first fasted workout, more intense workout, and I definitely am feeling it. It wasn't that bad. I'm a lot hungrier than I normally am in the mornings, and I'm like really hungry now. I still have like another five and a half hours till I can eat. So here's my problem. It is 6.22, and if I want to eat again, I need to eat within the next like 45 minutes. I'm gonna go pick up some food. People give Subway a lot of crap, but Subway's pretty good. I mean, it's okay. It's food. It's food. You might wonder why a handsome, physically talented, heroic looking, and almost a Herculean figure would want to lose weight. And the reason is because I have a goal to dunk a basketball by the end of the year. And I actually film each month's progress. I have posted two videos so far. So if you like gags and hijinks, stick around for more fun. <laughs> Hit subscribe. Carly, what are you doing right now? Eating. What am I doing right now? Watching. <laughs> when do I get to eat? Five. This is what you gotta do to cover your bald head. The reason I've been so successful with the food so far and the weight loss is because I can't consume more than a day's worth of calories in one sitting. This isn't the first time I've tried intermittent fasting. Back when I was a sophomore in college, I weighed 220 pounds. I was depressed, frustrated, kind of pathetic, and lonely. So I started going to the gym and working out. After I lost a few pounds doing that, I started to improve my diet. And eventually, I sort of stumbled into intermittent fasting. I ended up losing 42 pounds. The two is because I really wanted to hit the 170s, and it legitimately changed my life. I had confidence, started doing more things with friends, and eventually met the love of my life. Oh, and I met my wife too. If you are struggling with your weight and it feels like you can never win, I get it, I've been there. But I promise you it's better to lose the weight because your future, you deserves it. Past Scott saved my life, and I want you to look at the past version of yourself with as much love as I do. So my wife and I kind of had, we had long days at work, so we got some ice cream. Now, instead of being able to eat at 12.30 tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to eat until 3.45. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so hungry tomorrow. It hadn't been bad until I kind of slipped up there. I'm at the 10 day mark of this challenge and I've lost 1.8 pounds so far, but I feel myself eating more and more during the four hour window each day. And my base concern is that I'm sort of eating a lot more unhealthy than I typically would because I'm just trying to eat as much as I can during the four hour window. So I'm a little over halfway done at this point and the thing I'm having the biggest problem with, oldest daughter is about two. And if you've ever had a two year old, and you try to get them to eat food, you know that the whole time you're just sort of nibbling with them. Maybe an hour or two after the fast starts, she needs to eat dinner and I need her to eat more than I don't need to eat. <laughs> so I've been sort of prioritizing that, which has been kind of tough. That's the whole point of this channel, right? It's like a dad's doing stuff, a young dad's doing stuff. You can do it too, but you know, we live in a world and it's not perfect, it's not YouTube. That weekend we traveled up to go see some family. I broke down a little bit early. Today has been the first day that I didn't complete the fast, but it's tough visiting family. It's hard not to. All right, so I'm working on over lunch. It's like one o'clock now and I'm really hungry and I feel crazy weak. This is like one of the first times 
during my training that I have felt this week. So last night I got no sleep and I made myself a little coffee with some creamer. I know that that's breaking the fast, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another hour on the end of my fast and make it a 21 hour fast instead because I just feel like while I don't get the full 20 hours in a row, I do still try to want to maintain the fact that I fasted for 20 hours at least. So what happens when you have a 13 week old at home. And that was sort of the last I filmed. I only ended up completing 20 out of the 30 days. And instead of dropping eight pounds, I ended up only losing about two. The reality is for me to lose weight, intermittent fasting is just not going to work. I need to take a hard look at my diet and cut the crap out that I'm currently consuming. Intermittent fasting at one point in my life was feasible and it did save my life. But with a young family, I really struggled. And at this point in time, intermittent fasting just isn't for me. I have gotten into too many bad eating habits over the years, which is why I decided to start my 30 days of paleo diet earlier. And I genuinely feel bad for not completing the challenge. Let's say on average a couple hundred people watch my videos. I'm letting down a couple hundred people. But here's the thing about me. You know that I will prioritize being honest and my family over lying for views and clicks. A man can only serve one master. And just because I failed doesn't mean you will. These videos aren't here to paint a perfect picture of a perfect world. I just want to inspire a little bit of hope in this world. I'm doing 12 of these 30 day challenges throughout the year. I may not complete them all, but I'm going to try. Also, to my two little girls, N and E, I love you both.